thanks Ray Channel Legends for sponsoring this video. Here we got some beautiful smoked short ribs. And man, this thing is delicious. Not only is nice, fatty, and smoky, it is one of my favorite meats to eat. And today we're gonna pair this up with an incredible Philly cheesesteak. Come on now, is there any way that this is not gonna be delicious? Well, let's find out right now. And everything starts off with the star of the show. This is exactly how I get them from my butcher, aka my meat dealer. But as you can clearly see, it comes with a little bit of silver skin and fat right on top. If I want this thing to be seasoned all the way through, I like to remove it. Some people say that this step is unnecessary, but hey, I'm cooking this at home and anything that helps it make it better, I'm all for it. As you can see, once I was done, this is what I was left with. Perfectly trimmed short rib, which is now ready for the seasoning. Talking about that, I kept it very simple with only four ingredients. Obviously, the first one that it needs is a good amount of salt. Once that was done, I jumped into freshly ground black pepper and then garlic powder. As you can see, I was not shy with the seasoning, because the next ingredient is the most important one of them all. And we're talking about smoke. I set my smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit and let it smoke for four hours. Once the time was up, I opened it up, removed it from my smoker, and this is what I got. Take a look at that. It looks good enough to eat already, but let me tell you, this thing is not fully cooked yet. It is not tender at all. We need to cook it until it falls completely apart. And the best and most convenient way to do that is to use sous vide. So for that, I threw it in the bag, vacuum seal it, and it was ready for the water bath. And that's good because I want to go ahead and make a side dish that I saw in Instagram. Can you guess what it is? If you said spam fries, you are right. Spam fries? Just like chicken fries from Burger King? Yes. Let's see if this tastes good. Now, as you know, regular Spam have a lot of salt. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using the less sodium one. And I have a feeling I'm making the right choice. Once removed from the can, the next thing to do is to go ahead and slice it up. And for that, I'm just chopping it up in small strips just like this. That is really easy so far. Because the next step can get really messy. And to avoid that, I like to throw everything into a Ziploc bag. All I have in it is a good amount of all-purpose flour. Just throw all of the Spam in there carefully without breaking it up. Then shake that bag to ensure that every single edge of that thing is perfectly coated. Make sure you remove all of the excess, because once you have done so, you should be left with something like this. Now the egg wash should stick nicely to this thing. Talking about that, my egg wash mix is just eggs and milk, nothing else. Beat it like there's no tomorrow to combine everything together, because then you want to throw all of the spam sticks in there. Shake it until they are all nice and wet. To keep things as simple as possible, once again, I use the Ziploc bag. Just throw in your favorite breadcrumbs in there and shake it all up. If you don't like to waste plastic bags, you can always use a bow as well. Whichever one works best for you. Because once you have done so, you should be left with something like this. Now that is ready to be fried. As you can clearly see, every single one of them got perfectly coated with the breadcrumbs. I set my oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, I'm using vegetable oil. Threw all of my spam in there and let it fry until I get a nice golden brown color. It usually takes one to two minutes. Because once you're done frying with the whole batch, this is what you should be left with. Now that has to be delicious. Come on now, spam fries? I believe this is one of the most addicting things I've ever made. However, it seems like there's something missing, and that would be a dipping sauce. Into a bowl, throw in some mayo, followed by barbecue sauce, mustard, a little bit of ketchup, and some parsley. Mix it well and your dipping sauce is done. Now that makes your spam fries way better. And if you don't think spam fries is good, give it a try and let me know. You will be addicted to it. Now there's no way we're gonna make Philly cheese steak without the cheese sauce. And usually people in Philly just use cheese whiz. Even though it's okay, I think we can make it a lot better. And that's by using real cheese. You can buy the pre-grated one from the store, but I like to grate my own. Doing this, there's a world of a difference. And that's because the pre-grated one comes with some coating on it. Believe me when I tell you, grating it yourself is much better. For today, I chose two, mild cheddar and Monterey Jack. Now, to make it, it's super easy, and I highly recommend using a nonstick pan. After throwing all of the cheese whiz in there, warm that thing up. I kept mine under medium-low heat. Then you want to throw all of the cheese you just grated there. And if for whatever reason you don't prefer my choices of cheese, use your own, because you're making the Philly cheese steak for yourself. Keep this thing under medium-low heat because everything will combine together. As everything heats up, by the end, you should be left with something like this. Now that is going to be perfect for a Philly cheese steak sandwich. Oh yes, that's a good cheese sauce. The last thing we got to talk about is bread. Choose one that is not too soft. An Italian roll is perfect for it. Make sure to toast it with some butter, because we all know butter makes everything better. 
But now that we got everything ready, the only thing left to do is to finish up cooking our short rib. And for that, I'm throwing it in the sous vide at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. This will make this thing super tender, and I cannot wait to put everything together. Take a look at this, everybody. Come on now. Take a look at this pan fries. It's incredible. Crunchy, juicy, soft, delicious. Just absolutely a home run right here. Now let's talk about the short rib. Remember, I cooked it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. That thing should be so tender, everybody, that I'm pretty sure that when I take it out of the bag, it's gonna completely fall apart on me. The bones are gonna fall off because that's what I'm looking for, especially to put it on a sandwich. It is ready, we are hungry, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. I tell you one thing, I have to restrain myself not to eat all of that short rib. So tender, so soft, smoky flavor, fatty. Remember, short rib is fatty, everybody. That's why we all love it. Now, putting this thing in a sandwich, come on now. <laughs> it's gonna be next level stuff right there. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and put the sandwich together. So now I say, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is an amazing RPG game with hundreds of champions and absolutely insane graphics. You can explore millions of champions combinations and master tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. Use my links down below to download Raid to your mobile phone or PC. I've been playing Raid for a while now and these are some of the champions I've been using. My friend Belenor, he has one job and that is to hit one guy as hard as he can and then hide. He's able to put out both decreased defense and weaken on a three turn cooldown. Krila Witch Arm which is one of the best ally attacks champions in the game. She's got a skill that hits a target, stuns them, then goes to town on a different random enemy with three other champions. I just love figuring out which champions combinations and tactics are going to be the best to fight bosses like Princess Avila. And this month Raid's got a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities. Like special fusion events to get a brand new legendary champion, tournaments against all others, and much more. They've just released five amazing new champions. And each one of them looks incredible and I cannot wait to try them out for myself. If you want to get a huge head start with Raid, all you have to do is hit the link on the description or scan my QR code and you're gonna get an epic hero Chonura who is amazing for the Doom Tower, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 nation charge so that you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. These rewards will only be available for 30 days and only for new players. Thank you rate for sponsoring this video i'll see you in the game just click on the link on the description to download and get started now let's get right back to the video all right everybody here we have our beautiful sandwich today angel can you tell what that is short rib yes <laughs> this one here you can't even fake it everybody it's smoked short rib philly cheese steak that's what it is today i just wanted to eat some philly cheese steak man <laughs> you, just, you were in the mood huh correct that's one, like chicken fries from burger king yeah chicken fries from burger king exactly i'll go together with you you don't have to be afraid what does it taste like is that chicken fries no, well it's not chicken <laughs> Is that spam? Yes, it is spam. Oh. <laughs> I love spam. I, I know, know I didn't know spam. spam originally. That's why. I Are you it? Spam? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I made a salsita with it. Try it with the sauce and let me know. That's Cheers, good. everybody. Cheers. I like it. I like it. It's good. It's very creamy. The sauce is kind of sweet, so it balances it out together with the spam fries. Would you prefer? Oh, oh sorry, yeah. Andrew. <laughs> you ruined my. Bam! My bad. What's wrong with you? I'm gonna point at the thing, bros. Ah! Damn, this boy gets I'm angry gonna... with the spam. That has such a good dip on it too and everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you never tried spam, give it a try. Highly recommend. Now we got the main event, yes? The short rib Philly cheese steak, huh? Smell it, Angel. Oh. No, don't make me do that. Smell like heaven. All right, let's go for this. I can't wait anymore. Cheers, everybody. My thoughts together. <laughs> mm. 
This sandwich makes me want to fight somebody. Why? Why do I fight? That way they don't take my sandwich. <laughs> this is the perfect combination, everybody. Fattiness of the short rib, the cheese got combined together, and the bread catches all the juices, and it's just wonderful. You better slow down with your sandwich, bro. Why, bro? If you don't slow down, you finish too fast. Mm. I'm gonna get intimidated. I'm gonna think that you're gonna want my sandwich. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. So good. I can't have this one, everybody. A perfect balance of salt. The smokiness, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I know, right? The bread is like puffy, so it's like nice. And then the cheese, man. I know, the cheese is amazing. The cheese, man. It is way better than just regular Philly cheesesteak. I'll tell you that right now, because it's different. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.